Big, but Omaha 62 Bra 166 and 3000. Welcome back, everybody. Ronan here, and Helldivers 2 is quickly becoming my new obsession. I know my channel has been mostly DCS-focused, and I'm expanding from there and going to cover gameplay, news, and other features from some other games that I've been playing while I'm not dropping Warheads on Foreheads in DCS. Don't worry, DCS is still the one game on my system I'll never get rid of and never stop playing. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get into today's video and why I wanted to discuss it with you. So first off, Helldivers 2, it is crushing it right now. The other day it was seeing player counts exceed that of GTA 5 and Call of Duty combined on Steam. Now I know that's a little skewed because Call of Duty isn't exclusively on Steam. They also have Battle.net. But just on Steam alone, it was, as of Monday, sitting at number 3 for player count just below Counter-Strike and Dota 2. And ironically, all three of these games are the number two game in their series, and they're all in the top three on Steam. However, I say that with a big caveat, because the the 450,000 player uh, server capacity limit that the Arrowhead put on Helldivers, so it's not going to reach those numbers until they're able to get that server capacity up, which I'll get into in a moment here. But... Um, as of, you know, it, at one point, somebody posted this on Reddit, at one point, um, Helldivers 2 exceeded Counter-Strike 2 and Dota 2 for the top spot on the current player count tracker on Steam. However, you got to take that with a grain of salt. It's It can fluctuate throughout any given day and all that. And... You know, like I said, for peak player count, it won't it won't break that. It's it's still not in the top ten of all time player count for for anything, but it's still or sorry, top five. It's not in the top five spot for all time player count because of that capacity limit. But still, top ten and all multiplayer count for a non AAA title the second week since releasing is nothing to scoff at. It also set PlayStation Studio records by reaching 150,000 concurrent Steam players on its opening weekend and exceeded big titles like Starfield, Destiny 2, and Halo Infinite. Now, Helldivers 2 is one of the fastest growing and most surprising games to be released in, certain, in recent memory. It is also one of the least anticipated overnight successes in gaming history, with a fairly low by comparison wishlist record, to basically causing servers to come to near crash point. It's it's refreshing to see from a developer that is A, not very big, and B, refuses to play the BS profit games that the bigger studios do. What I mean by that is, you know, the microtransactions, and Helldivers 2 has no need for you to actually spend real currency to get to the premium content you can actually earn in game all of the credits needed to purchase the premium war pass um or you know the the yeah they're they're kind of like their battle pass and here's what i love a lot it is a pve title and the the ceo and all the developers came out and said it will not go pvp because of how toxic pvp communities can get Talk about insightful. I mean, I love to hear this. And Arrowhead is just saying what a lot of people in gaming have known about for years. It is really frustrating to have these studios, these big name studios that are only in it for the money, that, you know, do all this stuff. They throw all this crap into the game that doesn't actually enrich the gameplay at all. It's like purely cosmetic and all these microtransactions and all that. That part. And, you know, looking at you, Activision, with the Call of Duty stuff. And then there's the ones that have the the pay to win, which that model is so disgusting. Where basically, I spend, you know, I spend this money on this game and I put in 120 hours. And then some guy comes in with a fat wallet and he puts in five hours of gameplay and then just buys his way into a higher level and higher tier gear. It's it's i hate it but it's really refreshing to have uh, a game studio come out and or a, a developer come out and call out the toxic communities that seem to be affecting games these days especially on the pvp front now for those of you that are um 
Like, yeah, all well and good, but I can't even play Helldivers 2 at the moment. Yeah, I'll tell you why. At least this is what I found from my research. One simple reason, it's just too damn popular. Yes, they had to cap the servers at 450,000 to keep them from crashing. And that's probably the most frustrating thing. No one likes to sit and stare at a loading screen that says servers are at capacity, please try again. But it seems to be the case with this game. And give me a minute to go over some things. First things for, first, it's a foresight problem, not a developer being terrible problem. Let's get that like completely out of the way. Um, what I've read into this, and the sourcing could be off, so the information may not be 100% accurately accurate, but it's what I could currently find out. Helldivers 1 saw a peak player count of around 7,000. They anticipated this game, at best, would probably see twice that, like in the 10 to 15,000 range. And so, you know, the way pr I know some programmers and I've talked to some programmers, I am not one. The way they kind of set this up to future proof it was that they they enabled the, you know, server capacity to handle about 45,000 um, in the event that that 10 to 15 estimate was off. And boy, were they off. Within the first week, they sold over 1 million copies. Not bad for a small developer from Sweden. Their server ca capacity had to be raised to what I can only be, assume be something code-based um, to 450,000. And let me explain my understanding of this. I'm not a network engineer or a programmer or coder or anything like that. I, under soft I understand software absent the coding aspect and hardware because I've built PCs before. That's it. I'm not really knowledgeable in this realm. But from what I understand and what I've read from people who know this kind of world, that it is, it's not just buy more servers. There's been a lot of talk in the community, people calling for, well, we'll just buy more servers. Well, if it was the case of buying more servers, this, this wouldn't be an issue. This would have been solved days ago. So I'm, I'm having trouble finding it right now, but there was somebody from either the development team or the CEO himself or something, they shared it on X on Monday and made mention that the issue is not just server side, it's a coding issue, and that'll take some time to fix. I don't understand coding. I don't know how the coding could be the root cause of server issues, so I'll, I'll nod and smile and say, yeah, they're working on it. But a lot of people, especially on like Helldivers 2 Reddit, have been saying... A lot of this stuff, guys that are network guys, guys that are, you know, engineers, guys that know this stuff are saying, yeah, it's not just buy more servers. It's not so simple. It's a straight up issue of they have a lot of back end coding that they need to do to make it so that that happens, you know, so that they can increase the capacity and all that and make it a little more streamlined. So, you know, I, I really got to say, Let's give the devs a little bit of slack here. Nobody, and seriously, nobody saw this coming. This was a success that has completely blown away the gaming community. And the CEO of Arrowhead even said it. I, I love this. If you look up uh, on his uh, ex, formerly Twitter, he said something, they were discussing something, and he made mention that this whole experience is like trying to tune a Vespa to compete in Formula One. Now, if you don't understand that that reference, you know, I, I can't help you. Um, but they're working on the issue. These things are complex. They take time. I'd rather play the waiting game than someone rush too quickly and just everything crashes and all the progress that everyone has made is lost forever. I mean, I know people who are level 50. If they had to restart at level zero again and, and work their way back up, they'd be a little frustrated. And understandable i mean you put you've sunk time into the game i have and i'm enjoying it but i would hate to lose all that progress but it wouldn't be the end of the world now i wouldn't say that if it hasn't happened before so patience we should all exercise a little bit of it and we'll get through this without increasing our cortisol production the sad part is the server issues have led to some negative review bombing on steam and it brought it actually literally brought the overall ranking down to mixed and i understand the frustrations it's 2024 we're busy gaming is for a lot of people is like the only outlet from the stress and mess of daily life and if you're like me i have commitments family other things in life going on that window for gaming 
is very limited at times and you don't want to wait for the whole you know your entire time that you can you've allotted for gaming waiting in a queue to connect i get it one such review though did make me laugh and it said this review is at capacity please try again later and i i've thrown up the screen of what you get when you jump into hell divers 2 um thankfully they 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 did some tweaking it used to be you'd get just the black screen and you'd sit there for who knows how long now it actually has a screen for you to look at that tells you kind of that you know that reassuring warm blanket that it's being handled it's working we're doing something it's something's going on instead of just a black screen and like am i gonna get in am i gonna get out am i gonna sit here forever i don't know um but the general sentiment of the community right now is phenomenal game when you can play it and we're all hopeful it'll get fixed soon the other issue kind of related to the server problems that i wanted to address and look i'm not going to apologize if this is you and i'm describing you so be it i i'm just going to say that i i'm not looking to make enemies i'm not looking to anger people but if this is you i'm, I'm looking at people like you and there's a lot of talk about this a lot of people are jumping in playing and then not logging out because they don't want to sit and wait in a queue when they jump back in later they'll just leave it idle in their ship so they don't have to queue up and that's causing a lot of irritation as well a lot of the community is now calling upon arrowhead to institute somehow i, I again i don't know coding i don't know how this would work but institute like an afk kick timer to alleviate this and to an extent i kind of agree i even had a friend i played with yesterday he's like all right i'm heading off to work i'm not logging out and it was like dude really like you're gonna just eat up server space so that somebody else can't play um and there were three people we tried to join up with yesterday that couldn't literally could not play with us because they hadn't logged out since the update was pushed yesterday and they were running a different version of the game and it said that you can't connect because they're running a different version of the game and i'm like you guys have been if you've been playing the entire time holy cow cool but if you haven't logged out since Sunday or Monday and you're just one of those people that's like, I'm not ever logging out and I get it. Like I've, I've, I don't have a PS five. I play on PC. I get it. I've heard PS five people, you hit the button and it goes to sleep and it actually doesn't log you out, but you put your PS five to sleep or whatever PS fives do when they get tired. Um, you know, they put it they put it to sleep and it doesn't log them out. I understand that, but they really do. I mean, bottom line, the server problem is causing a lot of discontent. And I think we should be happy for Arrowhead. Their game is such a huge success. This can only mean good things from here on out. So in conclusion, this being so successful... We can expect to see more development on this title with expansions. They've already announced you know, there's going to be a third faction coming soon. They might add in some more features and stratagems to an already feature-packed game. I mean, there is... I haven't even unlocked everything, and I'm, like, just shy of 15 hours in. Um, but, yeah, it's like, dude, let's... Yeah, more stuff, that'd be so cool. Um, but I don't know about you all. I'm enjoying this game. I'm having fun on this particular title. Probably more fun on this game than almost any shooter i've ever played that's saying a lot because i mean outside of outside of dcs i play a lot of shooters if you look through like all of my my uh steam library i've got like squad six days in fallujah um arma a whole whole mess of games you know all the call of duties i bought the call of duty pack you know a few of the far cry games um at one point in history i played PUBG. You know, so like I predominantly, you know, came up on shooters and this one is just crushing it. It's one of the best games out there and a huge compliment to my games library. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like, hit subscribe if you haven't. And remember, I read every comment. So feel free to leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Have you played Helldivers 2? What's your experience? We can kind of say, yeah, if... 
I understand if you've had server issues. I, I waited a while yesterday to log in. Um, to my regular viewers and subscribers, what do you think of the new direction for the channel? Instead of being a one-trick pony with DCS, do you like that I'm branching out and featuring other games? And also, yesterday I attempted my first live stream while playing with friends. Um, I think YouTube like records it and lets you watch it later. Um, it's like an hour long if you want to check it out. It Really, it's it's nothing too exciting we did a couple of missions and a lot of it is me hanging out talking with guys you know one dude went on a smoke break so we were kind of just chilling on the ship for a while um but i might start doing that more often i won't really have a schedule um because my availability to game is really limited and unpredictable but who knows um i might throw a link to my twitch and uh i might stream on twitch instead of youtube i feel like i don't know maybe youtube might be better who knows? What do you, do you watch live streams? That's another question you can answer in the comments. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next one.